Alright, today we're going to be flashing a Samsung SMG386. Um, this is the T-Mobile version. Um, we're going to be flashing a Metro PCS ROM on it so that we are able to get an unlock code for this model. Okay, once it boots up, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so these come with a app already in the phone that will contact the T-Mobile server for the unlock code. So uh, T-Mobile will push the, um, the unlock into these phones and you're not able to purchase an unlock code from a third party in case your phone has a bad IMEI like this phone. So to circumvent that we will flash a this flash file which is from the same phone but from the Metro PCS um, version of this phone and once we do that it will get rid of this app and once we introduce a non T-Mobile SIM card it will ask us for an unlock code so to begin we're going to take out the battery and we're going to press down the volume volume down and home button and power once it once it turns on you let go of all buttons and you press up to continue so now we are in download mode and the phone is ready to accept our new firmware before you plug in your phone to the computer you will need the Samsung drivers. I will include this, um, all these links in the description. So it will be first you install your drivers. Um, you can just run them straight off from here. I don't need them because I already have them installed. Next, you need Odin. This is the. Um, you also need to extract this file and place it on your desktop or wherever you like going to go ahead and open it alright and the last file is the firmware file so I already had it extracted um, alright so once you plug into your phones once you install the drivers go ahead and plug it into your USB and you should come up with a COM port right here if it doesn't go ahead and exit out and reopen it and here's my my COM port in this case it's um, number 12 in your case it will be different so if you're having issues you're not getting a COM port, restart your computer or re reinstall the drivers make sure you have the drivers installed if you don't have them you'll never see this port come up so after this we are going to select AP and we are going to look for our file here at the in the desktop so here's the flash file we're going to go ahead and select it and open it and this will take a bit it might take 20-30 seconds for it to load the the file if, if you see that it starts freezing just leave it alone see here as you can see it's not responding but it will respond in a bit it's just there we go okay so once it does that um, all you have to do is press start and make sure you don't even touch the phone because you might accidentally disconnect it so we're just gonna go ahead and press start
All right, so here it's already finished um, flashing the firmware. It's just going to go ahead and do a, a reset of the phone, and that'll be it. So after this, you can unplug your phone. So here we see the, uh, the Metro PCS ROM on it. Um, this will be a two-part video, so stay tuned for the, for the next part.